Hello everyone, Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity with your weekly update. It is Friday, September 8th, 2017. What a week it's been. Look, uh, Shakespeare said all the world's a play. Well, this play is about to transition from farce into tragedy, I feel. And I know a lot of people share that sentiment because you can feel it. The whole world seems to be going crazy, including the weather. You know, one way we could look at this is go back to ancient Roman times and understand that there were certain omens that would come along that uh, either were good or bad. Uh, you know, comets were supposed to presage bad things. I'm going to guess that the almost perfect transection of the United States by a full eclipse from the northwest to the southeast, look what's gone on since then. It's been an absolute horror show of things for the United States. Harvey came, did something no storm has ever done in history before, dumping over 50 inches of rain in certain parts of Houston. Houston is still trying to recover from that. It's going to be a long slog before they get out of that. And now we have Irma barreling along with the highest recorded wind speeds in duration of anything that since we started recording, uh, I think in whenever satellites came along uh, and we were able to do that kind of thing. Anyway, powerful storm. Uh, there's another one in the Gulf of Mexico, another one coming behind uh, Irma. So it's a very active storm season. This is just bizarre, though, when we look at what's happening with all these sort of calamities striking the United States, plus increased tensions with North Korea, plus, you know, you pick it. Uh, there's lots of things going on. And mysteriously, what we see is that the world's central banks, the only thing they can continue to think to do is to continue to prop up the stock markets of the world and the bond markets by throwing more money at it, as if that was going to fix anything. It can't and it won't. So next week, on Wednesday, the 13th of September, we are having at Peak Prosperity a special webinar. It's called Dangerous Markets, and we're going to have in there Grant Williams and Lance Roberts, two experts and myself moderating, talking about just how dangerous these markets are. And even if you are not invested in these markets, the reason you should care about this is that when they finally break, when this mother of all bubbles, the everything bubble that the central banks have blown, when they break, it's going to be a really dark period of time for a long time. So you should know about it. You should understand it. And for those of you who have wealth that you're trying to protect, this, this webinar is about protecting it. As well, Adam and I are going to be talking at the uh, New Orleans Investor Investment Conference, which is coming October 25th to 28th. That's an incredible conference as well. Adam and I are hosting a special breakout session at that conference for people who want to dive deeper into the data as we look at it. We'll be discussing monetary, financial data, geopolitical data, everything we've got, ecological, you name it, to try and get our hands around where is all of this going. But look, here's the lesson that people learned from Harvey and that they learned from uh, Irma as well. The time to do your preparations is before everybody else gets the message, right? As soon as you are part of the crowd, trying to fill up your gas tanks, there's no gas in the system. As soon as you discover that you're in a flood zone, it's too late to do much about that, as people uh, in Harvey discovered. So you really need to understand there's lots to prepare for, there's lots coming. And so that's where our book Prosper comes in. Preparation isn't just about getting your money safely secured. That's part of it, sure. But you also need to be uh, in, in resilient form with seven other forms of capital besides financial capital living capital, your health, the world you live around, uh, the, the ecological systems around you, very important. Your social capital, extremely important. Perhaps most important of all is your emotional capital. Can you keep a level head during these troubled times? Can you avoid the programming from the media, particularly in the U.S., that says, be afraid, be very, very afraid? You know, that's something we market to ourselves all the time. Resisting that is an important part of my emotional health. And one way I do that is by simply not even observing it or exposing myself to it. Uh, sometimes that's the, the best way to go about these things. So at Peak Prosperity, at our website, we have a lot of great conversations going on. We're discussing still what happened with Harvey, the shale oil debacle. We're looking at what's happening with Irma coming up. We're looking at these dangerous markets. We're trying to make sense of all of this, but things are really beginning to heat up. Please don't take your cues from the Dow Jones or the S&P, which are manipulated specifically so that you will feel better about things. They are trying to control both your greed and your fear in this story, right? They're trying to keep you very afraid of things that aren't really that much uh, of a risk to you, 
And as well, they're trying to pretend like everything's okay so that you'll keep buying because the name of the game in the United States is to keep you just borrowing and spending. Borrowing and spending as if that was somehow going to lead to happiness and prosperity for you. Will it? Kind of a broken model. So that's one of the things that we're investigating all the time at Peak Prosperity is to say, take charge of your life, figure out what works for you and what really brings you happiness. Here's my personal litmus test. I'll do something if it makes me feel more connected and more alive. That's it. So we're not living in fear at Peak Prosperity. Don't worry if you haven't been exposed to our materials, you come by, we're not here to sell you any more of that fear. We're here to help you be more prosperous, more connected, more alive, but you have to know the context of what's happening in the world. So with that, I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend and uh, be well.